Very witness. Good. Witness. Wit. Ness. Witness. Witness. And that is our cold open. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Gospel, Gospel Truth. Truth. I'm Dean. And I'm Audrey. And this week we are celebrating the third Sunday, third Sunday. of Easter. Yeah. Hallelujah, still. Hallelujah. Yes, Christ is still risen. Yeah, yeah. still risen. <laughs> yes. And we're still celebrating. Of so we, we hope everyone um, continues to have a joyous Easter season. Um, this week we want to focus on this theme of being witnesses mm -hmm. and the responsibilities that come along with being witnesses. Yeah. And so as a reminder, uh, the Gospel Truth is all about Audrey and I sharing our thoughts about the faith, the word, happenings in the church. Hopefully by doing that, we'll understand our faith a little bit better. And maybe you, the viewers, can get something out of it as well. Yep. And so on to our readings TLDR. Let's dive in. So this week, uh, the readings all kind of harp on the themes that we've touched upon in previous episodes. Mm. Covenant being fulfilled, forgiveness, repentance. Mm -hmm. But we put the magnifying glass on these readings. And we found that the word <laughs> that the word witness showed up twice. Yeah. In the first reading and in the gospel. And here's the context in which they showed up. In the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, um, it says, "The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses." Saying like, "You put Jesus mm -hmm. to death. He came back, and you saw that. Yeah. Right. You experienced that. And then." Um, in Luke, in the gospel, uh, this is after Jesus has been resurrected and he's talking to some folks and Jesus is saying, thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. There it is again. So there it is again, right? Witness shows up twice and we figured, well, we should probably focus on being witnesses, right? Yeah, that so. was a uh, props to to you on picking that apart. That and was I'm very good, uh, yeah, <laughs> detective work. <laughs> um, but yeah, witness, right? So, I mean, where do we start? Um, let's define what a witness is, right? Mm -hmm. so we all know that. Well, when I think of witness, I'm just like, oh, it's. Uh, this person in court who has to be called by the lawyer and he's asked to testify and just be like, what did you see? What did you hear? What's your version of the story? Yeah, the key is a witness must offer their testimony for something that they experience or something they know. Yeah, um, and I think, well, we think that's what's happening right now, right? Jesus has risen from the dead. I mean, <laughs> in a world where there's no social media or no telephones, I mean, people are just like seeing it and they're running to their friends and everything and word is spreading that Jesus has risen from the dead. They are um, they are saying what they saw, what they heard, what they felt even. Yeah, it's such it's beautiful scenes, right? Because you're just like in this, the beginnings mm -hmm. of the covenant fulfilled. So word has to spread at some yeah. point and everyone's excited. Yeah, I mean, they must like, they're relieved. I yeah. mean, the apostles were a little, were a little terrified. Um, but then after you kind of get through the shock and these happy feelings, you just you want to spread the, the news. Exactly. Um, and, you know, how do we translate that to today, right? Yeah, I mean, like if you think about today, everything that we see in the news or everything that we experience, we are witnesses to. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a beauty to what we are witness to in the church, because even though we may not be direct eyewitnesses of what happened 2,000 years ago, we still experience God and Jesus working today when we are inspired by what other people do, these acts of kindness, yeah. or inspiring words that we might hear from the church or from members of the church. We can still be witness to Jesus and God today. And yeah. there's something beautiful about that. Yeah, I mean, there's something beautiful about, you know, even though you're right, we're not physically literal eyewitnesses, but to be able to see, feel, hear God's grace through others, mm -hmm. um, that's a that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, and I think it's important, again, like we witness it and that's great, but that we have a responsibility and a duty um, that once we witness these amazing things, we should spread the word, spread kindness, spread the, spread the good, the good vibes and the good feelings. Exactly. Right. And like being witness doesn't necessarily just mean telling people about it. Of course you want to tell people about something when you see something awesome or feel something great, you yeah. want to tell people about it. 
But isn't it also possible to be witness by sort of replicating the example that you experienced yeah. or by being the person that you witnessed that, or that you saw? Yeah. Like acting like them and emulating them is another way to be witness. It, yeah. it doesn't just have to be words. That's a very good point. Of, of, and a more like, it's not more beautiful, but it's a very, it's another way, a beautiful way to spread the word, not just through saying it, but mimicking what, um, what the beautiful action that you experience or the beautiful thing that inspired you, right? Exactly. Um, you know, it's, I don't know how to, exp I don't know the, a better way to say it, but there's just like this ripple effect. And the more people that mimic this beautiful action, like just imagine. Right, just like, like that exponential Yeah, it's growth. an ex, I wanted to say exponential, but I wasn't sure if it was the right <laughs> word. But yeah, there's this exponential growth and spread of the actions. Um, and that's even more powerful, right? Than just saying it, right? Exactly. Um, actions speak louder than words. Exactly. And, and it, it's so important yeah, in our world today, because oftentimes the witnesses are testifying to all the bad that's happening in the yeah, world, right? It's like rough. The news. I mean, news doesn't like to talk about everything was normal today and everything was a good yeah, day. Yeah, that's boring to them. Yeah, right. They they talk about and we often play up everything bad that's happening in the world. And I think it's our responsibility as witnesses to offer a little bit of balance to that. Mm -hmm. Talk about what's good yeah. in the world. What's good with you, and how are you spreading that through your actions and being witness in that way. Yeah, so this week we really want to challenge everyone and ourselves to really be willing to testify to the good that, things that you are witnessing. Um, share the good things that you see, feel, hear, um, and things that inspire you. Yeah, and be the type of person that other people will be witness to and will want to talk about. Yeah, in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, yeah. you want yeah, you want to be the person that wants, that talks about it. It's like, oh, did you see that team do this, did this amazing, beautiful thing? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be that person they talk about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we hope this week um, you really find time to challenge and reflect on, on doing so and being a witness. And we look forward to seeing you all next week. All right, everyone. Take care. Take care. Bye. I play Super Smash Brothers with Ness. And that is our close. <laughs> Sorry. Five